Hi everybody, it's Alicia Garcia Hollinghurst here and I am going to take you on a tour of my scrapbook room today. So these are my cute Hello Kitty pajamas. My mother-in-law bought them for me. I love them. Okay. So here is a view from the door. And this is Mannix. It's my baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, what I created are several stations with all the like items put together. Um, this has always been what I've strived to do, and I've just never quite accomplished it based on the constraints of my storage systems. But I think I finally got there this time. So this whole wall is all stamps and punches, and then there's just a few embellishments right here. So I have Stampin' Up! stamps. I have unmounted stamps. That's mostly my new CHA stuff. Unmounted, unmounted. Okay. I have punches. There's all the old school ones. These are Nori punches. Um, and if you have never looked into the punches that they have for seaweed or Nori for um, bentos, then you can get a lot of fun stuff um, for that. Mostly I use those for the actual seaweed. I've, I've used them on some very thin papers, but not much. Okay, so then this is my embellishment bar, and this is new. Um, this is pretty much what I have always wanted and wasn't able to accomplish before. Um, but all it is is a shelf that was like $16 at Lowe's put on top of several of these storage units I got from Joann's. Um, these storage units from Joann's used to be in my closet and um, by moving them out here and putting some other things in my closet I was able to create a whole separate work surface where I'm able to have my sewing machine which is a singer confidence always out. So the way that I work with embellishments kind of have a system which is what I um, I'm trying to adjust the light in here. Um, kind of have a system which is what I based my my storage around. When I get new embellishments, I put them in this large wicker basket. And I work with them maybe three, four times, depending. Sometimes only once or twice. Um, I even put new stamps in here sometimes. Um, just so that it keeps at the forefront of my mind and I'll actually use the stuff. Once I have tired of it or um, I've used a lot of it up, uh, it finds its way over here. So then it either goes by categories away with like all my tags. Or it might get divvied up into the bins here. Um, these all used to be on top of these black bins in the closet. So I've always kind of had this little system going. It's just now so much more accessible. Here's all the chipboard, die cuts, mosaic pieces of some flowers, buttons, ribbon, there's twine. Over here, there's uh, you know all my tapes, stampin' up embellishments. These are all the 12 by 12 chipboard sheets that you get that go in the cellophane containers. Yeah, that gets old really quick. So those are divided up into um, little measuring cups I got from Anthropology. Vintage buttons, my embroidery floss. Okay, so it either goes here or it goes into my color bins. These bins are something that I stole from Stacy Julian. She does a whole video series explaining her system. And I love, love, love it. Um, when you know that you're trying to balance out the color on your page and you just need a little bit of something, then this is the best way to do that. Um, I break up the embellishment into these packages in each box for a different color. One for multicolor and one for black and white as well. Includes a container with buttons and brads, a container for flowers, a metal container for miscellaneous anything, then a little box for tags, labels, titles, and then I also include some zig pens, sometimes some paint or glitter, 
just anything that could help add that extra splash of color. So then I have all of my photos back there. And then back in this corner, this is where my desk is. And I just have this nice little, um, I don't know, <laughs> like a U-shape area. So I can come over here and quickly sew. I can embellish. And then I can come back over to my desk and continue working. This cabinet is new. And um, I've pretty much combined all of my mediums over here. So... I have my Liquitex Basics. I have more Liquitex and acrylic paints. There's some golden. Here's craft paint. Down here's all of my mediums. I have my glazes and my gesso and gel mediums. Okay, up here I have my ink tents pencils and my Derwent watercolor pencils. I have my favor castells. I have all my palettes, palette knife, my beeswax and iron, my heating tool. That's all for mixed media. Here's all of my spray inks and stains. Oh, I don't know why this keeps getting caught. That's my Stampin' Up markers and ink pads. My non Stampin' Up ink pads and distress inks. These are all coloring mediums and then I put everything glittery and metallic in this bucket. So I have gelatos and watercolor wonder, my Copic airbrushing system, my aqua markers, Gamsol, there's oil pastels down there, twinkling H2Os. This one here is tools, not my most frequently used, but things like brayers and um, you know my crocodiles. These are my most used embellishments, and what I do is string them all onto these large um, rings. And so these are all my halfback pearls. This is great for taking to a crop, but it's also really nice at home um, just to have all those little things together. I do the same thing with this. Um, whoops! Did the same thing with this twine. I have my most used stamps back here, my idea books, and my sketchbooks. And what I did here is I even took um, sketches online for cards, and I printed those out. And I don't always use them, but they're often a nice jumping off point. So I have those, page maps and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so here's my desk. I'll come down here to give you a better view. Okay. And on top, I have my paint brushes. I got this container at Michael's. I have my Prismacolored pencils. Then all of my Copics and Prismacolor markers, like everything else, are divided out Roy Biv into all of these miscellaneous teacups. I have my Cricut Expression. Then over here, this is where I keep my most used tools. This is a large tray with dividers that I got from a Bath and Body Works gift set years ago and it's just perfect for all my most used stuff. When I'm scrapbooking or I'm working on something it's usually sitting out there on top of my desk. Then I have my most used punches, all of my um, liquid glues, some are even on the ground. <laughs> um, I use glass cleaner to clean my stamps and this is just from Costco but it's safe for your stamps and I just use an old kitchen towel and um, it just really works so well. It even takes off stays on but it's not harmful at all and it doesn't dry out my hands or anything. These are my alphabet stamps, art journal and quilt books. And on the other side of my desk, so I have the cutting tools up here and then my foam stamps my stamp carving supplies, uh, my book text for mixed media. These are all Unity stamp kits I got from my awesome friend Lisa. I'm loving them. And then if I back up, this carpet is where I sit and kit. Um, I like to scrapbook away from home as well. Um, and even at home, I work in kits. So maybe I can do a video 
on how I do that, but I like to have a big area to spread out the photos, spread out the paper, add the embellishments, and then get them all together. So that's what I do there. This is my die cutting area, and I keep my big kick up here on top, and then I have all of my manual die cuts as well as the storage for my Cricut cartridges. I do have a gypsy, so that's mostly just a holding area for that. Here are my albums in progress and all of my library of memories supplies. So if you're familiar with Stacy Julian, I do not scrapbook chronologically. I scrapbook what I want to scrapbook right now, and I'm able to do that by using the library of memories um, system. And so um, if you ever had a chance to take that class at Big Picture Scrapbooking, I highly recommend it. So that's where my storage is for all of that. These are my Kiwi Lane templates. I love Kiwi Lane. Love, love, love. And this is just a makeshift clip it up. It was supposed to be a floor length um, photo holder. And I just omitted some of the bars because they all screwed together. And I was able to clip these little binder rings on here. This is actually what was used that came with the kit. I got it at Big Lots for like $10. So I have a shorter area for the short accessories and a longer area for the long templates. My closet is now where I have the paper. So I have all of my newest pattern paper on um, this rack here I got from my local scrapbook store. I have all of my paper stacks in this and what it is is it's just modular storage very much the same thing as this in a different color. And you um, use twisty ties, or I'm sorry, twisty ties, <laughs> that would be a disaster, zip ties to um, make the shelves, and you get a lot of paper storage that way. And then what I've done is categorized all of my 12 by 12 stacks, not only by category, but also by like color groupings and things like that. And then I put the title and, um, and information on the edge of the tag next to that shelf so I know where to find it and what I'm looking for. This is part of my kitting and this is this is a kit. This is how you do this. Um, this is a hefty one zip two and a half gallon storage bag and um, I put my photos, a sticky note with the layout I want to do if I've got it a layout picked out and all of that. Those go here and then I go to my crop. When I come back I put all my completed layouts here, and then they need to be filed away. There's one using some of my Kiwi Lane templates. And then kits when you buy a collection line. Um, these are skirt hangers. They look like this. And I just hang the whole collection there. Kind of keeps it in my face and together. The other side of my closet is the rest of my paper and substrates. So, I have my 8.5 by 11 Stampin' Up! paper. I have miscellaneous lines and kits here, and I've labeled them all. This one is just a specific album. Here's my Nina paper for stamping. Stampin' Up! By older, I mean 10, 12, 13 year old paper lines. Um, my mind's eye stacks, miscellaneous single sheets, and then I have, these are all my canvases. I got these bins at Target this week for $5.99, and they're amazing. They're flexible. They have these really great handles. They're huge. Um, this one is full of all kits and mini albums, or mini album kits. These are specialty papers. This is how I keep my cardstock. I don't use a lot of cardstock. Um, I mostly use pattern paper, especially now that I use Kiwi Lane templates. Um, so this is how I keep my paper. Also, Rigi Biv, my cardstock, anyways. This is all ephemera stuff for mixed media um, or ephemera. I'm sorry. Then this is all of my albums in progress. Um, you know, childhood, family, my sorority. Okay. And I don't know if you got a really good idea there. That actually used to be the rack that our TV was on in the living room. Um, that was what my husband used. And so now we've used it here. 
so that's my scrapbook room. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.